Hello there everybody, welcome to a Sundsvall that has been having some really fantastic warm and sunny summer days now for a while. It's a little bit uh, cooler today and uh, uh, not maybe not as sunny. Uh, it has been talking about rain in the afternoon, so uh, time will tell, but right now it is a good moment to do a video. Uh, from the balcony. Uh, hello there, Ron Haggerty. This is the response to your almost 700 subscribers. Well, who am I kidding? You, you definitely must have 700 by now. So, congratulations to those, uh, and uh, they are very well deserved. You have a contest uh, that was focused around the number seven. Uh, seven questions. Uh, with the number sevens in them uh, and uh, it will be very good idea this day to do a response to that so let's get started first of all you wanted a band uh, with the number seven or seven letters in the name uh, that one was a tricky one um, I could have picked the Euro disco band 24 7 but I only have singles with them I don't have an entire album with them so I realized that this one might be great Count Basie Kansas City 7 uh, now this album is called Kansas City 7 but the band Kansas City 7 with Count Basie was formed in the 30s uh, and uh, this is some kind of a reunion or, or a new setting with the Count Basie's Kansas City 7. So Count Basie, Kansas City 7 uh, is my choice. Then you wanted an album with the name 7 in it. Uh, I have a couple of those. Uh, there are some that, that would be felt pretty natural that I felt like maybe many have taken those like Duran Duran and Seven and the Rug Tiger or Chicago's seventh album but I felt like this might be great to have Pat Benatar Seven the Hard Way from 1985 consisting such a great songs like uh, Invisible uh, and uh, Invincible sorry Invincible and uh, Sex as a Weapon it's a really great album that I bought in the mid 90s I think and I really really love it from the very very start an album released in a year that ends with a seven and uh, that wasn't all that hard in my opinion uh, couldn't pick 77 87 97 uh, so uh, maybe jazz album from 57 or 67 but I picked this one from 97 I don't think I've shown this one that many times uh, classic one Verve Urban Hymns from 97 a really really good album uh, with the classic one of the 90s most classic songs Bittersweet Symphony, what a great song that is. Then an album with seven tracks on. And uh, if you're like me, collect jazz. Maybe it isn't that hard uh, because many jazz albums have five, six or seven songs on them only because um, like in the bop shang or something like that they are having longer songs with souls and so on but uh, <laughs> when i'm searching i always wind up finding darn that one only had six it's missing one song <laughs> but i felt like this one could be really good to have as i'm a fan of the organ the dynamic jack mcduff 
the Jack Mac, the brother Jack McDuff quartet with big band of Benny Golson and also have George Benson here on guitar and count them one two three four five six seven a song that is seven minutes long uh, also that um, I could have been relied on jazz because many jazz songs are seven minutes long in the bebop era uh, but i it was a question that <laughs> was was, was um, tricky to find when it comes to the pop era uh, because uh, uh, the album i'm going to show uh, would be impossible for me to buy if it had been uh, 25, 30 years ago, because then, to me, owning a, uh, a song that is seven minutes long <laughs> would have been impossible. I didn't like that long songs back then. Uh, but when I heard uh, Tears for Fears album, The Seeds of Love, and the track there called The Year of the Knife, see here 706 <laughs> uh, when I heard that song I really got fascinated I really liked that song because it was such uh, so amazing well made uh, it was uh, really really a song with really really much fantasy and uh, never boring one second I was really really well made so, uh, Tears for Fears, Year of the Knife, uh, is my choice. When it had been a minute longer, I could have picked Tears for Fears, Sowing the Seas a lot, because that one in the album version is six minutes long. <laughs> but it's missing one minute, hey. Uh, you also wanted a band with the, their seventh uh, album. Uh, and uh, I assume that you count that uh, the the main idea is uh, studio albums and not including compilations and live albums and so on. And if you and with that, I think that the natural would be one of my absolute favorites albums of all time, the Pesh Mode's Violator, who is their seventh studio album. Uh, real real classic that I have listened to so many times wouldn't uh, fit in though in the, the previous category as it only has five songs <laughs> and you also wanted us to say something about your channel uh, and um, uh, something positive <laughs> and um, you have a real great energy for what you're doing, Iran. Uh, you can really uh, say that, that um, you love what you're doing. You love doing videos for the VC. You love your records. You, you really love your music. Uh, and you're showing that with a great passion that I like. So that is one thing uh, about your channel, as you wished. So, uh, congratulations to your big month of subscribers, Ron. Uh, I hope you will have a whole lot more and um, that I one day might reach 700. Uh, but congratulations, Ron. I hope you and everybody else have a real nice time, no matter where you are, no matter what you do. Take care in the summer and see ya.